Okay guys, uh, on this one, I'm going to do the kind of stained glass shapes that I showed the examples of um, from Laura Lee Chambers Instagram. Um, to Art Chambers, I think is what it is. Uh, and this was something really, really cool that her students did. So I wanted to try it with you guys. So this was the paper Mason made. We were going to start with just yeah, orange and blue because that's um, the colors of his favorite character on YouTube called Lippy. But then he got a little crazy and he added some browns and he added some reds and some greens. And I'm super happy he did because I think it looks amazing, especially this part where the color applied together. So what I'm going to start is I'm going to just draw a bunch of shapes. I'm going to do mine randomly. I'm going to choose maybe squares, circles, um, rectangles, maybe oblong kind of ovals. Um, and I'll time lapse that. I'm starting in pencil. Once I'm done with pencil, I'll do my Sharpie and I'll show that to you guys when I'm done. Okay, let's go. So on this one, I just kind of decided the shapes as I went along. I wanted to really highlight this area, so I drew a big box around it. Then I decided to draw random circles, and I decided to fill these with boxes um, so I could get the variation of color within there. So I don't know if you could see that very clearly, but my shapes are all in there. Hi stash, highlighting the beautiful colors that Mace created. Um, okay, my next step is that I'm gonna take Sharpie, outline all the shapes, and then fill the shapes in between them. So then I'm stash. Yeah, hi. Mhm. Mm okay, buddy, out of the way. So then the shapes, the space inside, stash. <laughs> the shapes inside the shapes that we can see the color is the positive space. The shapes that we color in black is the negative space. So that's a concept that we're working on with this project, which I really, really think is cool. So here I go, I'm about to Sharpie it up. So this one took a little bit longer, so I cut that time lapse short just so I could show you the process. This is what it looks like finished, and I think it's really, really, really cool. You guys can do whatever shapes you want. If you only wanted a few shapes and then a lot of black, you could do that as well. But I really think the paper is so beautiful that um, I wanted to show as much of it as I possibly could. I really like this guy. He's a bit of a like a uh, kind of like a constellation planet kind of thing. I really love that. Even the subtle colors in in these ones are really beautiful. So there you go. If you want to try this one, I think it's a fun one too. Okay, bye.